Thank you for tuning in to learn more about Anchorons. My name is Emily Knowlton, and I'll be introducing Promune's Anchoron technology, the future of target binding reagents beyond antibodies and the key to your success. Antibodies rely on using the immune response of an animal to produce target-specific binding reagents and are by design inherently tied to the immunoglobulin protein scaffold. The main issue with this is that antibodies are now limited by their legacy attributes, and more importantly, the origin of their diversity and protein scaffold. Of course, custom antibody generation can also be a high-risk, time-consuming, and very expensive endeavor. But now, with advances in biotechnology, the anchorons allow us to completely move away from this paradigm. Anchorons are small, 15 kilodalton single domain proteins that are extremely stable and easily produced. They're based on anchoron repeat scaffolds that in nature mediate high affinity protein-protein interactions. Using ribosome display technology, we are able to select anchorons in vitro that bind with high affinity to the target of interest from our high diversity Terra library, comprised of around a trillion binders. The resulting binders exhibit high affinity to the target, typically in the nanomolar down to low picomolar range. Applications of anchorons are exactly the same as that of antibodies, so they can be used in flow cytometry, ELISA, immunohistochemistry, IFAs, IPs, and cell culture as a few examples. Importantly though, the anchorons do not share the same limitations as antibodies. Because they are generated with animal-free methods, they are by default recombinant monoclonal sequences. These completely synthetic molecules are also not constrained by immunological tolerance, meaning that they can be targeted against all structural proteins, including self-proteins. The anchorons are highly specific by design. By using guided selection in the screening process, we can also produce clones with exquisite specificity against closely related protein targets. Furthermore, with our expression platform, Anchoron X, we can also generate the protein targets for you if you don't have them available. The anchorons are generated in just eight weeks from production of the target protein and can easily be engineered in different formats, like multi-specifics, for example, opening up new opportunities for research programs. Our rapidly growing and extensive anchoron catalog, which includes clones against thousands of protein targets, can be labeled with your tag of choice. This effectively merges the concept of customization with catalog options, giving you full control so we can produce exactly what you need. Amazingly, this can all be done free of charge for public domain targets. The anchorons have been used in a wide range of applications already, with some examples shown here on this slide. The small molecular weight enables excellent penetration into cells, making them great options for intracellular staining. Shown here in the histogram plots for three different mice, we see staining against the transcription factor HIF1-alpha, in which there are currently no good antibodies available. Anchorons have also proven successful in other challenging areas, such as MHC peptide complexes. Antibody generation against these complexes, or so-called TCR-like antibodies, is extremely difficult. But in this example, we see specific staining in green where the anchoron has bound to the cell surface to an HPV-derived peptide of interest presented on MHC. Staining against cells with an irrelevant peptide is shown in blue. Anchorons can also be made against antibody idiotypes for detailed characterization of therapeutics. We have several anti-idiotype anchorons in our catalog, and an example of binding of anti-avastin anchorons is shown in this ELISA graph. Just like antibody clones, the anchorons can have different effects as well, such as the ability to neutralize virus, as shown in this SARS-CoV-2 pseudovirus neutralization assay where Anchron clones were made against Delta and Omicron variants. The proximity of the fluorescent tag to the binding site of the Anchron make them exquisite options for high resolution microscopy and immunofluorescence assays. Here in the first two rows, we see bright staining with Anchrons raised against the intracellular transport protein, Gabarap, in this malaria infected HeLa cell model. 
That staining is specific as we see no background staining when GABARAP knockout cells were used in the bottom two rows. Importantly, there are no anti-GABARAP antibodies available, demonstrating just how valuable a tool the anchorons really are. The anchorons grant you access to virtually any structured protein and will enable you to dive into proteomic areas that were not previously accessible. They are significantly faster and less expensive than antibody discovery, accelerating the replacement of animal-derived antibodies. Please do reach out using the emails or phone numbers listed here to further discuss the technology and learn how ProImmune can generate anchorons against your targets. Thank you. We look forward to speaking with you.